If anyone can retake the Alarai, Talizora can. If Talizora is stuck with a human captain, at least it's an eloquent one. Even during the healing, Talizora's first thought. The human can work a crowd, I'll admit that much. If anyone can retake the Alarai, Talizora. My father dead or trapped on the Alarai? My name stripped? How could you not tell me this, Captain? I'm sorry, Tali. I was under orders from Admiral Ran herself. I couldn't say anything. She wanted to get you onto the Alarai. She said that the Admiralty Board needed to see your reactions. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Who decides where the migrant fleet is going? That's a more complex question than you might think. The Conclave votes on where we're going, but the Admiralty works out how we get there safely. Avoiding areas of piracy, scheduling resupply, that sort of thing. Seems like you're cut out of the loop. Raya has a representative in the Conclave, like every other ship. But me, personally? I don't get a say in anything that happens beyond my ship's hull. If my crew doesn't like the way things are going, we're free to leave the fleet at any time. Of course, since the Raya produces about a third of the fleet's food, they try to keep us happy. Why is the fleet here? A binary blue giant system isn't the most hospitable place in the galaxy. Not if you're looking for a planet to land on. We've been doing a lot of deep-range travel. The bulk of the fleet is here to charge up using photovoltaic solar cells. We're running an ice mining operation at the Red Dwarf six light years off. They haul it here, and we melt it for water, or crack it into deuterium, hydrogen, and oxygen. Why did you post guards outside our ship? Aside from the fact that your crew is Cerberus? Technically, it's under quarantine. Any accidental intership contact could sicken or kill our crew. We'll talk to you later, Captain. Captain, Tali. We'll talk to you later, Captain. If Tali Zora is stuck with a human captain... Tali Zora and her father are out of control. This is on their heads. I didn't expect a human to be such a good speaker. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing... If Talizora is stuck with a human captain, at least it's an eloquent one. Even during the hearing, Talizora's first thought is to protect the fleet. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of death, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kill us alive.
Behind us! I'm backing that one! Deploying combat drone! This is one of the storage units I sent to Father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. This should come in handy. Who's running the system diagnostic? I didn't authorize... Oh, Kila. How many get their networked? All of them. Rail Zora. Shut it down! Shut everything down! They're in the system! Got trouble. Oh! 
This should soften them up. I'll kill you all! Ah! This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tally. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on.
making progress. Rail Zora is convinced we'll have a viable system in less than a year. This weapon will put our people back on the homeworld, and it's all because of Rail Zora. had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to clean up your mess. You can't. Every Geth on this ship will die, Tally. It won't bring him back. But it's what he would have wanted. I don't care what he would have wanted, Shepard. I wanted a father who cared about me more than his war effort. I wanted a father who would take the sick leave time and let me see his face without a helmet in the way. Instead, I got orders. And this, and a panel of admirals who think I'm a traitor, those were my father's gifts to me. Come on, Tally. You don't have to stay here. Yes, I do. Someone in this family needs to stop walking away. He had to know I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. Their main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Han Gerl and Daro Zen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. You don't know how he would have ended that message. Yes. I do. Come on. Let's finish this. console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. Play the recording. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble new guests with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Your father was deliberately networking the Geth to Sapiens to do weapons tests. That breaks our most sacred laws. Laws that predate our flight from the homeworld. Everything here is his fault. Uh, 
I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. We're not gonna decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. It's only been a few hours. Shepard was right. Springing the information about Rail on Tali, we practically dared her to take back the Amorai. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is... very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally's achievements are the only evidence you should need. Come on, Tally. We're leaving. What? This is a formal proceeding! Wrong, Admiral. This is a sham. You're trying to build sympathy for the Geth to forestall the war effort. <laughs> that is completely... And you want all the messy experiments covered up so you can throw your fleet at the Geth. I... I... Do whatever you want with your toy ships, but leave my crew out of your political bullshit. We have no new evidence. You can accept Tally's word, or you can exile the woman who saved the Citadel from the Geth. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please, don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. It's been a while since anyone shouted down the Admiralty Board. I think it was good for them. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. 
I wasn't gonna let Tali Zora boss Normandy get exiled on my watch. Thank you, Captain. All this talk of war gives me chill. Very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. The galaxy needs more people saying what you're saying, Admiral. Good luck. Thank you, Commander. You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Tally, is there anything the Admiral should know? We found a lot of dead bodies, Admiral, including my father's, that's all. Whatever research they were doing was destroyed. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well, and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tally? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. We found Rail's body. He left a message for Tally. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us alive. Tallyant. Hello again, Commander. Good luck, Tally. Damn, Shepard. Been a while since I saw anyone rail at the Admirals like that. Guess they can't court-martial you, though. <laughs> Glad they're off your back, ma'am. And that you didn't have to give them that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Carl. Noticed that, ma'am. What's your take on the war? Are the Admirals gonna try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the Admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. But a soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. Any idea what your next assignment is going to be? Hmm. I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. Stay safe out there, Rieger. You too, Shepard. Ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. Very impressive speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alarai? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh well. Whatever is created can be recreated. In any event, I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. You should abandon your plans, Admiral. They're only going to make the situation worse. We shall see, Commander. Many things are impossible until they are done. The Alarai was a good start. But there are lots more get out there that need killing. I was wrong. Talizora was innocent after all. All this talk of. Congratulations, Talizora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the Rhine. Whenever you decide to come home, good luck out there.